Hi everyone, welcome to episode 25 of the Ballrooms and Bachelors podcast, where we talk about our experience as ballroom dancing students, dancing with stars, and all things Bachelor. I'm Camille. And I'm Matthew. So on today's episode, we're going to talk about just like a recap from our Dancing with the Stars tour, uh, then just like our dance for the week. And also we we do have one announcement to make about the podcast, and then we're going to do a little bit of a recap on the first two weeks of The Bachelor this season for Zach's season. And that's really it. So I think let's get started with right. uh, the Dancing with the Stars tour yeah. um, that we went last Friday. <laughs> yeah, last Friday. Yeah, it is crazy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we did the VIP experience. And I know Matthew's been to the VIP experience mm-hmm. before. I have never been. So it was the first time for me. So um, I know you said when you went in the past that it was a little bit different, like the format and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it started off with the Q&A section. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if you wanted to talk about any of the parts from the Q&A. Yeah, I, really. yeah, I love it. And I actually like that a lot. Um, I think that's a pretty cool way that they, cause like you had mentioned when I had done, like I had done the VIP, I think four or five times in the past, um, from yeah. like 2016 to 2019, all the tours through that time mm-hmm. frame. Um, but how they did it back then was depending on the time of the show, cause sometimes they had either a matinee show or an evening show, mm-hmm. um, or a lot of the times, most of the time it's just one show in the evening, but sometimes it's a matinee show, but depending on the time of the show, they would have a pre-show, um, meet and mingle party or post show mm-hmm. meet and mingle party depending again when, on the, what time the show was um, and that basically just meant that they had the pros walking around and you got to talk with other VIP people mm-hmm. and then like the pros will be walking around and you get to talk to them and then they had like a photo op um, with like a select few people and it was cool because I met a few people um, um, during that actual like like part of the VIP. I remember talking to Jenna one of the times. I remember talking to Gleb one of the times. Mm-hmm. Um, Haley, uh, Herbert, uh, Derek's fiance, and then also um, Lindsay. So that was a really cool thing. So that was a cool thing, but I, I mm-hmm. like the way they did it this time because there were some times where I feel like that mean and mingle party was very personal because um, you mm-hmm. got to actually interact one-on-one with the with the people, but there were sometimes like really long lines to, to, to talk to them and like a lot of people like congregating around each other for that so I thought it was nice to actually have like an organized Q&A thing yeah. um so like you were saying for this tour the format was a little different to where it was the Q&A and it was so much fun and I actually learned a lot of stuff mm-hmm. um that I did not know like just based on how they answered the questions and, and their, answer, their answers to the questions um yeah. about like how the show works and what happens in, in like during like a weekly basis because I said mm-hmm. I guess one of the questions was like like explain a day like a week in the life of the dancing with the stars pro and everything like that and they gave their whole kind of like description of that and it's like it's even more crazier than i ex- expected it to be yeah. um, i remember we've talked about this before where like they literally get like one day to choreograph the next week's dance mm-hmm. because we found yeah. out that i think that they do something called a wide and that's yeah. basically and I had no idea about this. It makes sense, but I had no idea about it. And I, you didn't either, right? Mm-hmm. No, it's no. Crazy. I, mean, I anticipated they were doing something like that, but it just yeah. seemed like but, I think Alan right. said it was like Wednesday or Thursday they do it. And I yeah, like, what? Like it just sounded so early because I know. I guess like from the TV production side, they have to kind of map out what the routine looks like and get the story mm-hmm. of it. But it's just such a t- short turnaround time for the, um, like short turnaround time for actually putting together the choreography and I think that was the other thing that they clarified like right I I think it was like Gleb was saying that at the beginning of the season they get three hours each in the studio like with their partner throughout the and then like later on in the season they might like as people leave it's like well now you get I they probably get like four hours or five hours whatever like later on Mm -hmm. each day and I think it was just like three hours seems so short and because they said it's like it's not just three hours of rehearsal it's like, like they have this robotic camera Mm -hmm. in the middle of the room or on Mm -hmm. the side of the room so they have to do interviews they have to like talk they have to talk about things they have to practice and they have to go through it so it's like Tuesday they're exhausted Mm -hmm. and they're just like nothing really gets done on Tuesday they just start and then Wednesday is like cramming and then I think that's what they said is like it's either ends of Wednesday's rehearsal or Thursday's rehearsal and then you know he's like of course you can clean it up but the point is it's like you don't know how much you might need to change things yeah um it was crazy like I I don't know and it was cool because they were just like so I don't know I just feel like they were very it, it they were like just very much communicating like it was just very direct communication like it didn't yeah, even it seem like such a formal Q&A I mean 
Um, they were like you know. actually like pointing out to people and like, who asked yeah. that question? That's so cool. Yeah. So they were really like interactive with the crowd, which yeah. I loved. And that's the yeah. crazy thing is that like what we were talking about with, I think they might have even said it was Wednesday because like, I, I remember, I because I think, Mm -hmm. I remember Whitney answering this. I know she wasn't on the tour, but I remember Whitney answering this, I think in like a Instagram story, Q&A yeah. or something like that. And I think when, I think Alan might've said the same thing where they mm -hmm. literally get one day to choreograph the next week's dance. So they start choreographing that Monday night after the show is done and they have to have it done by that Tuesday. So it's like less than 24 yeah. hours. They have to have the whole routine. That's like a minute and a half. The usually yeah. the are for Dancing with the Stars now. Um, in one day, and again, they're pro dancers, so I'm sure they can come up with stuff pretty easily, but just that's so mind blowing that how much work that is. Like that's crazy. Yeah. Um, and then and then like you said, Wednesday or Thursday at the latest, they have to like give the director that wide video so they mm -hmm. can see what it is. Cause they cause when they do camera blocking, they have to already know what the dance is and they don't have time yeah. to any other time. Um yeah. which is crazy. And then they were talking about how camera blocking day is like really detailed because they like mm -hmm. have to get the routine so many times because yeah. they like be like oh the camera's going to be passing by here so like like look at the camera here or do something like that so they have to yeah. like, gonna know where the cameras are during the, and that's crazy to me it's, uh how that works it's funny because like i'm i've been catching up on all the bachelor podcasts i was listening to off the vine by caitlin mm -hmm. the other day and i'm i'm really behind I, I mean i've listened to some more recent ones but like i'm listening to the ones from the end of 2020 when she was on dancing with the stars and she was talking the other like the one I was listening to the other day it was one of the weeks that she was still on the show and she was talking about like oh well, when I do like my Roomba and stuff and then like you know I have to look at the camera and she it was just like also reminding me how like when Caitlin did it in 2020 they didn't have an audience That's like very Jason true. her um now fiance was like in the hotel or in there like the place where they put them up during the show like in this apartment or hotel like watching her on tv like he can't even be in the audience but he's like yeah. meanwhile she's like down the street and i can't even go watch so she's just like oh when i'm looking at the camera i'm like looking at jason <laughs> you know and i think <laughs> yeah it's like so it was funny because like now having that fresh in my mind after they talked about it at the tour um I was like thinking of what they were saying and she was explaining a lot of it. And I was like, oh man, if I had mm -hmm. only listened. But I probably wouldn't have remembered it from just the podcast episode. Like I listen, right. I, I remember it way more now from the tour. Mm -hmm. Um, but I thought, yeah, I thought it was cool. And like they didn't really ask or answer any of our questions. I had submitted a question of like, if you weren't a pro dancer, what would you do? And somebody, I don't know, the way Gabby worded it made me feel like she didn't read it from my question card, but they asked it. So um, it was interesting, you know, some of them were like actors or some of them wanted to go into medical, like the medical field. Um, yeah. Sasha said he wanted to be a chef. Oh, that was yeah. Funny. yeah. 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 So that was I, funny. Yeah. I love that. Um, I, it definitely gave me a really like different or more, I guess, fuller view on what the pros go through. Mm -hmm. Like I mm -hmm. didn't really realize. And it gave me like a different perspective. I was like, wow. Like they really worked very hard. I knew they worked hard, like tirelessly. Yeah like every week but it just seems like being a pro on that show is incredibly difficult yeah uh, and I remember somebody asked a question about Brit about what the pro audition process was I remember we talked about this oh, like yeah. two weeks ago it and intense. it was like really intense that like she I think she had said something where they had to do like an audition on video and then they brought her in and mm -hmm. then um I didn't do, I, I forgot the specifics of it and then she did like a dance in person and they asked her to do different styles like like a solo yeah. And didn't they say, didn't she say, something? I, I forgot the specific like details of what she said, but she said something like where they bring like, like, was it like dancers and non-dancers? They in? brought some non-dancers in that she had to like teach them a step yeah, and like right on the spot. And then I think she also had to do something else. And like Sasha had to teach her choreography on the spot and like have her do it. Oh, and yeah. I think, yeah, so it's, and, and that's the thing. I mean, that's what, you know, and that was the other thing we didn't mention, like also within the week, like they have all these intricate routines at the pros and the the troop do mm -hmm. in between the dances and especially in the past few seasons they've really mm -hmm. like highlighted this again um that they just like they'll go three hours rehearse with the, their celebrity and then they're going for like three to six hours of their own rehearsals and then they're going mm -hmm. back to like you know talk to them or whatever and then yeah. you know all of these things and they're they're working through all of that so um you know I think it is a lot and and just like the number of stops they have on the tour I think Sasha mm -hmm. said this is the biggest tour this is the most stops the most shows that they're doing yeah um and it's just like when you watch the choreography from the actual show it was non-stop it was non-stop non these dances were like so intricate 
like all of them did almost like all of the styles um yeah. like including contemporary including you know argentine tango including all the um, latin all the standard all the smooth, yeah every and, and even yeah. just like some you know in salsa and like salsa. And, yeah. They had bachata at the very end. They did, which they did tell us that they were going to do. Yeah. Like they, I, I think Katarina was the one from the troupe. Like, she was like, oh, hey, like, like get up and like, like we're going to yeah. teach you guys bachata. And then we were saying, we're not going to show off because we already know bachata. But we really yeah. don't know, but it was so funny. I think you said uh, one but, of them was like pointing to you because they knew that you were doing the correct arms. No, I know. I know Gleb was like, hey, you're like, guys, get like, do, the guys do the arms. And then he saw me doing the arm for Bachata and <laughs> pointed out to me. He's like, oh my God, that's so good. So that was so funny. Um, but that was- Thank Elena for that. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Elena. Thank you, David. You guys have taught me great Bachata moves and, and I have you guys to thank yeah. for that. Um, but it was crazy because, and the quick changes also were so insane. Like at the beginning of the show, they did like that opening yeah. number. And yeah. it probably was just like something where like they had to put on just like one thing like a like a they were adding the skirt yeah like adding the skirt but I remember Alexis did something where and I have a video of it where like she went off stage like halfway through the opening number and they were like doing cha cha and then they slowed the song down to do rumba it was the same song but a rumba version and it was mm -hmm. like ten seconds she went up the stairs and had like a rumba dress on like oh they're a, probably yeah yeah and, they're and, probably helping each other like go yeah they did yeah. And I just think that crazy thing is, that, and I think the thing that impressed me about that is that obviously I think most of these big tours have like, like dressers that help the the, pro, the pros or the talent like change in and out of their, their costumes and outfits and stuff. But I just think the thing that impressed me the most was like how like effortlessly and flawlessly mm -hmm. those transitions were. Because when she started, like went up the stage and then went up the stairs to do the rumble part, it seemed like nothing had changed. Like it was yeah. just like so... Like it just seems so effortless to yeah. me. Which is like, and it was the whole show was like that. Oh my god! So, yeah, it was it was insane. It was so good. And I remember telling you about this is that I think the thing that just impressed me the most. I literally and I remember mm -hmm. we both said this like after the show was done, we had like no word to describe how amazing it was. Like I couldn't even like comprehend yeah. it. I just think, especially since Dancing with the Stars and those pros over the years are the reason why mm -hmm. I got into ballroom dancing and they inspired me to actually do that. Mm -hmm. I think seeing that in person just gives you more of that like inspiration of like why I do dance and why I love dancing myself. Um, and it just, I don't even know. It's just like, it's just a crazy, just like, you know, you kind of, again, you just get the overall perspective of why you love doing it, I guess. And it's, mm -hmm. and, and, and yeah, it's just crazy. Yeah. The whole show was awesome. That I, I don't think I can pick a favorite out of the, the, the yeah. dances, like you said, and it was cool that they they kind of hit every single like style as well. Yeah. So they incorporated everything. I thought that thing they did with the uh the like reenacting the ballroom competition. Oh yeah. Really funny. And that was yeah, very it was funny. Funny. it was awesome. Yeah, because it's like, well, I mean, not that we've been a black cool, but it was just like yeah. over dramatized the whole thing. Like I like that there was like a story to it. And Gabby was oh, hilarious. Like Gabby was a great host. Like she was. She's, she's because it's like she does it like in a cheesy way mm -hmm. but it's like not cheesy because it's mm -hmm. just like we know she's I don't know Gabby's great Gabby's just great she's and awesome. I we you know it was like we only had like so much time to take mm -hmm. the picture with them and like say yes. something so I just was like next to Gabby and I turned to her because I'm like I'm only gonna have so much time to be able to <laughs> say anything and I just turned to her I was like you were amazing this season we were cheering for you and we go to Val's studio at like you go to dance with me and then a bunch of them were like oh so they they know. Yeah. <laughs> so and, that was um, really cool. And, and that even though we had such a quick time with the picture, yeah. that was the thing we did after the Q and A was we all lined up and we all one mm -hmm. by one took pictures with them. Is like I absolutely love how the picture came out. It was yeah. It's oh yeah, it was great. It was, it was great. great. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, wow, Gabby's really tall. She, she is. She is. I was very like, I know she like looked tall, but I mean, and I just like it was crazy. I um. And as of when we're filming this, so Val's actually, it's like out there now. Val's coming to our studio on Monday for mm -hmm. lessons. So I'll probably just tell him, you know, like, yeah, yeah me too. Amazing. We, we told her when we saw her at the tour and then, you know, yeah. um, we said, I'll just say like, oh, well, we, we uh, told them that we are dance with me students and mm -hmm. they were just like, oh, yeah. Um, no. And I think I quickly turned to, uh, I think it was Britt and Emma. And I was just saying, thank you guys for the reason that, thank you guys for being the reason that I started dancing. And they were like, oh uh -huh. my God, so sweet. So that was, I, I'm glad I had that moment too. So that was really oh, nice. Gosh. 
yeah I didn't even get to hear you because like the woman was like tell I didn't know if they wanted us to walk around the other way for the photo or the other no way. I know me too it's like hey, like what? okay okay <laughs> let's go and I'm like oh my gosh like I'm not but they were talking back to us so no I know they were. Like, I, I was like I don't know um but it, but was, it, was, it was awesome it was awesome um yeah and I and uh yeah so I'm like that was it was a great experience it was awesome um, we're, there, we're, we're slowly but surely working on a vlog for that from that night yes. so keep your eyes out for that <laughs> yeah yeah I'm like oh sorry my headphone keeps falling out um <laughs> so yes yeah, so I think as far as like our own dancing mm -hmm. I know just yesterday I finished with uh Elena and Yuri I finished the choreography for my right. contemporary showcase for my um like the showcase for the March competition mm -hmm. um you know, contemporary is no joke. I have a massive bruise on my knee. Oh my gosh, I know. And, and I'm like, it's, I mean, I don't care so much about the bruise. It's just like when we were practicing it yesterday, I clearly still had the bruise from last Monday. Mm -hmm. So when we were trying to practice the one step, like I, I, my knee was hurting so much. I could barely like balance on my knee to practice the step. And I was like, I need to get a knee pad just mm -hmm. so I can get through the rehearsal because I need to be able to do this. Like, you know, I'll have to just suck it up like the day of the mm -hmm. performance. But I'm like, I need to be able to actually practice this to learn it. And it's like hurting to even lean on right now. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's really good. I think. I'm so excited know, to see it. We finished it yesterday and I was just That's like, awesome. oh, this is a lot. And it's just like, I have just about a month to do it. And I'm just hoping that I can perform it as well as I'd like to and prepare it in that amount of time. Because it's just, mm -hmm. it's just a lot. So I just trying to see how many lessons I can do. Yeah um to do that but how did did you finish your choreography or I haven't, you I haven't finished it yet but as of last night because you said you if you finished yours last night mm. as of last night we are like two-thirds of the way done with it we have half of the dance done mm -hmm. which is awesome and I, I absolutely Good. love what it is like and yeah. we actually added another style to it as well because like, <laughs> like the song and she was like oh this could be this so now instead of doing three yes, styles we'll have like a four so it's going to be oh, rumba argentine tango cha-cha and salsa in one dance so it, it's going to be a lot but yeah. the song is like like i had posted last night on my instagram story is that i, I don't want to give away any hints but it's it's hands down i think one of the most fun slash detailed and creative dances I've, or i have ever mm -hmm. done up to this point of me dancing and it's just yeah it's so amazing and so much fun. Like you said, I, and this is why I'm glad that like, I am not competing at the March event. Like I'm waiting mm -hmm. to compete to do the 10 dance in, in the summer. Um, so I'm not like actively getting, having to get ready for a competition on top of doing the showcase either, yeah. because that's what we kind of were having to do in November was mm -hmm. we do like the first 25, 30 minutes of the lesson we do like just like five to seven Latin rounds, mm -hmm. just back to back to back to back, just so we could have the Latin routines down because we were performing our new Latin routines in November. So we had to be ready yeah. for that. And then we do like the last 20 minutes of this during the, we do our showcase and then we'd like mm -hmm. flip flop the, the the following week where we do like more showcase and then a little bit less rounds, but like still do both. Yeah. This, since we've been working on it for like the last three and a half, four weeks, we've been just doing just showcase stuff the whole lesson, which has been great. And, um, and we had to record um, our showcase last night, just so we, like what we have so far, mm -hmm. because obviously like you had said this so much in the showcase and we still have like a minute left of the dance still. Um, yeah. that we have to choreograph. I think we have like a minute and 45 seconds of the dance so far out of the two, mm -hmm. I think it's 240 is the dance time, I think 235, 240. So we have like, a, like another minute and like about a minute and five ish that we have to still learn which we're going to uh, start next week mm -hmm. and um i'm really excited because it's definitely a dance where and elena said this too and i definitely agree with this is that our dance last time obviously was me more wanting to tell a story like i had mm -hmm. mentioned it was very personal and more like serious yeah. i guess you could say even though it still was really high energy this is a dance that it still has like a miniature kind of like smaller story attached to it but that's not really the main point of the dance like you probably could catch on to it once you watch the dance but it's not mm -hmm. going to be like you have to think about a lot yeah, yeah. of the story yeah. um and there's just a lot of like more detailed and intricate moves in the choreography and and we were talking about how the november dance into was more of a story you mm -hmm. had to actually follow to get what was going on there wasn't as much opportunity to like i guess for the crowd to actually get into it because they were thinking about what was the story was about but this mm -hmm. one is i feel like it's gonna be like 
10 times more likely to have crowd participation in it because of like we're going to be really getting into the dance and stuff like that yeah. so it's going to be really really fun and uh yeah i'm really excited it should be a lot of fun and i'm excited yeah, i know i'm ex i'm excited to see it i haven't seen any of yours yet <laughs> i mean well you saw me practicing one of the tricks that's in my book. yeah you showed me yesterday i'm like i'm doing what and um yeah and then, because and even though we just don't, because you're speaking of your dance where you have to like with contemporary, you got to do like the the flips and the jumps and the leaps and everything like that. Yeah. Um, we're doing uh, a few lifts slash tricks in ours too. Mm -hmm. which I'm really having to practice a lot because we didn't have many. Yeah. The only thing I had in my one last year or in November was the jump at the end, which I was still really nervous about that. Yeah. This. But this is actually there's part time actually lifting Elena and like doing okay. things where I'm like spinning around her and she has to I have to like keep her balance and stuff. So it's gonna be a lot yeah. of fun, but that's something I definitely have to practice. But I'm really excited. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's um no, I know I it's it's going to be it's going to be interesting. The whole, it is the whole it showcases because I know it's like a bunch of us are doing it. Mm -hmm. Um but I'm glad that again that they just yeah. have it's it's not February. It's oh yeah yeah. I think I needed the time. I mean, even yeah. now, I already feel like I'm in like a crunch mode because it's just like there's a lot that I, you know, and mine is very personal this time. So I just want mm -hmm. to make sure that I can deliver it the way I want to, just with like everything that I know. Yeah. Um, I'm doing the performance for so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, that's coming along. Mm -hmm. Um. I know we, we... had mentioned that. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna mention. I didn't know like if you wanted to get in the specific the specifics of like what Val is going to be doing next week oh uh, um I, yeah part of our dance thing coming up the way that they kind of do it at the studio um is when Val or any of the coaches come um I mean I think Val or Peter or Jenna they they will come in you can there's like limited spaces but you can book a reservation with um them to do like a coaching lesson with your instructor mm -hmm. and them and then they do a seminar or two at night. So Val's doing two seminars on Monday night. I'm not doing a private coaching lesson, but I am going to do two. No, I'm doing one of the seminars because I think one's supposed to be more advanced than the other one. So mm -hmm. I think, I mean, I think it's like a mix and, and not for nothing. I think even when he does something that's more advanced, it's like, he'll do it in a way that even if you're a beginner, you can follow it. Like, mm -hmm. I think that's the thing. They can kind of pick up on who, like if he goes over Latin, he'll be able to pick up on who knows Latin and yeah. get some more details. Yeah. That's how Max has done it in the past. So that's kind of the format of what they're doing. Are you, do are you doing a coaching? No, I, I'm doing oh. both classes. I was originally going yeah. to do the coaching, but um, mm -hmm. I guess basically what Elena had said is that like she assumed he was going to be in Glen Rock the whole day. But mm -hmm. what she heard back from Leanne was that like, um, that he was only going to be there starting like mid morning, early afternoon. Oh. So like, yeah, yeah. I think, me and then a few of our other friends she blocked out the times in like the mid morning um yeah. for us to do like back to back to back um coaching lessons but um but then she elena found out that elena found out that he was not going to be there until later and so that, oh. that was gonna work and then she had already booked five lessons and that filled up his day so yeah. and she kind of like didn't know or assumed that he would have the time but then didn't um but i'm still really excited to do the coaching or to do the yeah. um the classes i think it's going to be really fun and actually i'm very likely going to actually do a coaching with shirley ballas um, oh, nice. just because i like to try to do a coaching yeah. i'm not really getting prepared for a competition yeah and um shirley has a few spots open in elena's i told her i would let her know like for sure if i am going to do it um but she said she's going to like save a spot for me of good, one of the good. two lessons so i think um yeah it would have been fun to have a coaching with val but i think it'll obviously shirley's yeah and it's gonna be awesome to do one with her yeah. um and um this is actually my first time having Val in the studio since I've been there since like the year oh, and a half awesome. I started because I he oh, has wow. none of them have been there since I've started so I'm really I excited think... when was the last time that they were there do you know one Glen of them rock a long time max, That's what was I thought. In... max was in Fort Lee at the beginning of 2021 oh okay that makes sense I think what was it Yes, I think it was the beginning of 2021. Um, I think, yeah, or maybe no, beginning of 2020. No, I don't know. I have to go look it up. I, think I know there were pictures of, of Val in the I don't think it was beginning I don't know 20 when that was. What did I do this year? Was it beginning? I don't know. I think it was 20, beginning of 2021. Yeah, it was beginning of 2021. Max was there, but it was in Fort Lee. I went to Fort Lee. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure. 
I think it was yeah I'm just remembering now or it yeah. was I don't I don't know I don't remember exactly anyway, was. There's so he, many was, he was there but it, since one of them has been in Glen Rock a long long, long time. time I think yeah. it was before the pandemic because yeah. I know I've seen pictures yeah. and stuff but it, yeah it seemed like it yeah was I'd have to go back and check but I um yeah so I think yeah Shirley mm-hmm. Dallas is coming at the end of February I'm also going to do a coaching with her the thing is that like I know because Yuri and I are working in the showcase we haven't worked as much on Latin but I think yeah, and I too. spoke and um I think we're gonna have her look at my Paso because we're not planning on changing the choreography for Paso so Mm -hmm. it's like a good one to work on um so I was like okay Yuri we gotta make sure we at least we'll do the showcase and we have to Mm -hmm. practice Paso before I have Shirley Ballas exactly Um, that should be fun but yeah yeah Val was like it was kind of last minute because like Jenna just had the baby I'm surprised that's so true I know that's what I was thinking it's a really short tour and I was like oh wow okay I know it's crazy because no I know and it's crazy because we just literally walked in. I think it was, was it last Tuesday? Was mm-hmm. it last Tuesday? Yeah, last Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, no, it was Friday. Because I remember she texted me on Friday night. It was the, it was, no, wait. Oh, yeah, it, yeah. It, was the, it was, no, it was last Monday. Week. Was it Monday? It was sometime last week. And I know you were there too. Yeah, and it was you Monday. It was okay, Monday. yeah. So we've known for about a week. But um, she literally, yeah. like, we were walking in for group class, like five minutes before her group class. And she was like, okay, guys, come here. Oh, I got something to tell you. And she was like, just like, just randomly said, oh, Val's coming next week. I'm like, what? It was like so oh, funny. Oh, Thursday. Thursday, that's, that's what I thought. Mind. Yeah, I knew it was like not fully a week, but I knew what it was like Um, I know, it, there's so much going on. So it's hard to keep track. But it was such like a random, like last minute thing, like you said. Yeah. He was like, oh, or Elena was like, oh, Val's coming in like a week yeah. and a half. It was like, oh, okay. Like, it was like so crazy. Um, I'm really interested to see, like, because Elena said she's capping both classes at 30. And as of tonight, when I signed up, um, mm-hmm. there were four, no, two spots left in both classes. Wow. And That's last night for Salsa, yeah. we had 23. And it was, if the whole studio was almost full of 20. It was packed. That was, that was insane. Packed. I, yeah, I think that actually is a good segue into our next. Yes. <laughs> it's funny. So yeah, the February classes, like, cause obviously it's still gen- today's the last of January while we're filming this, but mm-hmm. um, the February classes, I know like the group classes were, they're keeping everything the same for the most part, aside from Bachata is swapping out for um, uh, Rhythm. And rhythm, then, yeah. and then I don't know what, fr- I just know Friday's always Yuri's Latin samba, class. I, don't, I think it's the it Samba. It is Samba, but, but I don't know if it was still Samba in January, but. I think it was like it was still like Latin footwork. We have been doing samba in it, but this is like like technically just advanced samba is the class. Yeah, I am going to officially be able to start going to the class starting in two weeks. Oh, awesome! I changed my coaching schedule a bit, so I'm like, okay, good because I should be there to practice Latin because I do want to do it in the summer. But Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but the salsa class was like massive last (sighs) night. Like I didn't stay for salsa. I did the workout class, which I am crippled Mm -hmm. from now, and. I I looked at everybody with salsa and I was like, so like, if that was twenty three and Val's class is going to be thirty, twenty three the studio was almost full. So if it's like seven more people, I have no idea how it's going to look. That's crazy. Well, you won't have anybody doing a lesson on the side. Very and true. Then it, and it's pretty packed because it was pretty packed the last time. I think yeah, when Shirley did the packed. the seminar last time, it was packed. So yeah, I don't. I still don't think it was even close to that. Like I just looked at this salsa group and i was like oh my gosh that's so yeah many it was so many people I know. i'm like i'm just gonna go and I'm say out. goodbye um yeah the workout class yeah. was insane elena went really hard on this yesterday but it was fun <laughs> and i was like is this because i missed the prior week because i ended up going to see phantom of the opera like are you and it's funny because like today i was going to try to run um because like i moved buildings for work and like there's a nice new gym in the building that i'm in up mm-hmm. you know like and i was like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna start doing all this and I was like I'm not doing it today I'm gonna be <laughs> it's like no not today I was like maybe Thursday I'm gonna go run in the gym when I'm there but I was just like uh yeah I was like I am still so crippled um I know me too from last night I'm like I can't do it mm-hmm. okay um did you have anything else about dance um uh the country two-step class has been really fun we had that tonight mm-hmm. and that class, oh, we've been right. yeah, doing yeah. the same dances like for yeah. the whole month we added a new one tonight i think we're gonna add a new one next week but we've been mm-hmm. kind of doing the same one specifically every mm-hmm. week and i think two out of the four classes we've had this month for that we've also done country two-step and like the halfway through the class where we actually mm-hmm. up and do the two-step um after the line dancing so that's been really fun um then like we've said the chat has been pretty self-explanatory that's been fun Mm-hmm. Archie Taylor's been pretty self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. Yeah. That's been fun. That's also been a class that's also filled up quite a bit. Yeah. 
where we've gotten a lot of people. And then the um, Latin footwork with Yuri has been really fun too. It's, it's been nice because I think the last three weeks we've been working on the same Samba routine. Mm -hmm. So um, it was, it's nice to actually like continue to learn that one specific thing. Um, and yeah, those classes have been really fun. I'm glad that they're keeping most of them the same next month. Um, even though I'm like, oh joy, another month of the fitness class, but, <laughs> but it, I know it's good. So I'm excited for yeah. it, but it just definitely goes, it, it definitely is really difficult. Um, but there were a lot of new people there too. There were. Like, I, I'm glad there's more people coming and they're not afraid to come. No, I know. And, and um, it's, it, Elena's a really good motivator yeah. though. I know it could seem like she's like going really hard on people, yeah. but she's like really like, guys, let's go, come on. You're going to do it. You're so excited. Like she's like, so she, she's so good at pumping up people. Yeah. So it's really fun to be a part of. And I do, I do feel like genuinely like, a, like more in shape too. And that's why I was yeah, like, me too. yeah, I was like January, the only thing I'm committing to do like working out wise, aside from, you know, I'll skate like one to two days a week for myself yeah. and then like obviously dance and then, um, you know, and then the workout class. And then I was like, okay, for January, I'm just doing the workout class for February. I'm going to try to start to run and then I'll see what happens mm -hmm. beyond that point. Yeah. But that's why I was like, kind of yeah, like, let me start with that. So, yeah. um, I'm actually excited for rhythm because we haven't done yeah. rhythm in a while. The only last time I did rhythm was rhythm team match. The two times I did mm -hmm. rhythm, team, the two dancers during rhythm right. team match. And then when we did the mambo class, like in the summer, mm -hmm. that was the last time I did rhythm. And so I'm excited to actually do rhythm yeah. again. It should be fun. Yeah. I'm going to skip my rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just, I'll get too confused. Um, yeah, too. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah. Um. Yeah. So I think before we get into the stuff for the bachelor, I know Matthew and I were talking and we just wanted to, I felt like it would be a more appropriate time to say it like at this point in the episode um we were just talking and I know we, our schedules are just very crazy and we when we started off the podcast we had a lot going on like back to back and then we're at this point right now that I think we just decided that in the in you know just taking into it's consideration our season. schedules we're going to yeah yeah it's like with everything going on we're going to stop doing the podcast for Zach season like we're just not committing to weekly episodes it's just going to be um you know a lot just time commitment wise to make sure that we're putting out an, an episode like every week for Zach season to like watch the episode and do all of our other commitments mm -hmm. um you know I think with that being said we don't you know we don't really know exactly what we're planning to do in the future just because we want to give it some time to to wait out Zach season but we definitely want to you know encourage you all to follow us on our Instagram and our own personal Instagrams, just because, you know, if you've listened this far, um, you know, we hope that you'd be interested to follow us along on our dance journeys. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we'll still probably be active on the Instagram page for Ballrooms and Bachelors, especially throughout the Zach season. I think it's just the watching the episode, like, and mm -hmm. getting together our thoughts and recording. It just might be, um, yeah. we, we just can't commit to it this time. So, uh, and times yeah, go ahead. We, no, no, I know it's a lot. Um, and there might be times, like you said, if we happen to, because again, like you said, that that um, just that commitment of every single week having mm -hmm. to watch the episode, and especially it was the same thing with like because we had the two the, with dancing and the bachelor, it was yeah. so much. And I think this is even a lot too, just with our schedules now, is that yeah. with the commitment to watching the episode every week. And I know we're still going to probably most likely both of us personally watch the episodes on our oh, own. Oh, we're still watching. Yeah. We're still watching. Yeah. But I'm just like, watching. but we usually yeah. had to like commit ourselves to watching on a specific day. So we could, we, so we could record a specific yeah. day, but now like at least we can watch it on a day that works better for mm -hmm. us. So like you said, we'll be active on the Instagram and our own Instagram and stuff like that, because I know we enjoy both like sharing stuff on the stories and stuff like that about the season and yeah. stuff with, like the dancing stuff and everything. And, mm -hmm. and again, um, like we've talked about if for some reason, or if there's a week that we're like, Hey, we're not doing anything. And it's like the, like a big week, whether it's like the fantasy mm -hmm. suite week or finale or whatever. And we're like, Hey, yeah, let's record an episode and or let's do a live stream or something we're still we're, like that gives us the opportunity to still do that but we're not mm -hmm. again it's like we're not having to commit to actually doing weekly episodes and actually committing to yeah. that so yeah. that's why we encourage you to still follow us just in case we do mm -hmm. do something so you can be up to date with that um but just again like you had said i think probably just not committing to the weekly episodes just for the season as of now that's kind of i think the best decision but we'll still be active on things because we have so much to say so yeah, <laughs> yeah um all right so with that being said we did watch the first two weeks of the bachelor as of when we're recording this so mm -hmm. we're going to just we'll go through those two just to give our thoughts on some things and then yeah. um and then we'll wrap up the episode so yeah 
All right. So for the premiere week, um, I know it was like some of the bullet pointed things that we wanted to go through. So the first thing I had was they brought Sean Lowe yeah. to, to mentor Zach. And mm-hmm. I have to say, I thought it was a really good personality match for him. Hands down, me too. <laughs> and I thought it was, I thought it was pretty good. I thought their advice was solid. Of course, they had the part where he was like, "Oh, we got to show him how to work out in the gym." Mm-hmm. You know, I was mm-hmm. like, um, "Yeah." So you, you agree? Yeah, you I totally it, agree. I and I always found it funny. I hear so many of like our like fellow podcasters of of the Bachelor mm-hmm. franchise, where everybody's like, they always seem to bring Sean Lowe back when they want to have like a little bit more of like. To kind of bring the fan base back at ease of like a little yeah. bit. Like, hey, here's our like guy who has the most success on the show, at least as of like as of most recent memory, I guess. He is uh, the last bachelor that is still with the person that he actually picked. Actually, he picked because I counted it actually, and I counted since I've been watching. Uh, I think I've been watching. I've watched a little bit more of the Bachelorette because, like I said, Emily's yeah. season was my first season of Bachelorette, so I've yeah. actually watched twelve Bachelorette seasons and mm-hmm. ten Bachelor seasons as of now. Yeah. Um, and so out of the 12 and 10, only, um, if you want to say, again, Sean's the only bachelor that is still with the person he's picked. There's only two more of the people, or two more bachelors that are with somebody from the show that they picked from the show. And so that's three. Yeah, Jason and, then, and Molly and then Ari and Lauren. Ari and Lauren and then Matt and Rachel. So actually four. Oh, duh, Matt and Rachel. Well, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, there was technically, like an, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. But technically, yes, but. Yeah. Yeah. So it's weird. Yeah. So all yeah, that. I totally but, forgot about Matt and Rachel. I don't think I forgot <laughs> that. But, oh my god. And everything goes seems to be going well with them again. And they yeah. I mean, I'm stuff. thrilled. I'm glad. I'm really yeah. happy that worked out. I'm really, really, really happy that worked out because I, understandably, they went through a very rough time, mm-hmm. and I'm just glad that they do seem to have a very healthy relationship and yeah, it's all good. So yeah, um, so I like that. And yeah. then with the actually, like, there's only forget? no. I know it's like it's crazy. <laughs> Um, I think but they so kind of like quietly with... did that too oh yeah i think i'm just so consumed by the fact that they post all these videos of them just like loving food no i'm like and... hey me too i love that <laughs> oh that just reminded me there was a video that matt had filmed that i wanted to send to my friend that was really funny anyway i i can i can relate to that but then and then same thing with like since i've been watching this emily yeah. season there's only been three bachelorettes since emily season that are still together with the person that either yeah. they from the show so again it, it's always like let's if if there's like if we want to have if we want to bring in somebody to calm the fan base down or put them at ease or make them at ease it's sean so like it's that's sean. again right it's like it's always sean <laughs> oh my gosh yeah i thought it, I, I always love seeing him yeah i love i love seeing sean too so it's like it's good and then we went to the limo entrances um <laughs> the notable ones that i have i mean i don't know nothing was really like crazy crazy uh, for me yeah. um Gabby had the thing where she made him drink the maple syrup. Yes, and he didn't yeah. seem too thrilled about that. He's like, mm, "Okay." Yeah, I'm like, okay. I don't want to throw up right now. Like, um, Greer bought brought the coffee from, from New, York. New York. Yeah. Um, and she's just like, "Oh, be careful! It's piping hot, just like you." I know. And then he like played along with it. He's like, mm, "It's so, it's still hot." And I love yeah. how that was funny. Yes, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, Gabby Steve wasn't totally loving. I thought Cruz was like, it was just cheesy. And I was like, oh, it's okay. Like, clearly she went, things went well for her. Kat, who was at the, um, after the final rose thing. And, you know, then I don't know. It's just like, she's very Italian because I just, I just put Gabagool. So I don't. I I did too. (laughs) Yeah, I was like that. I had her down for. And and then she ran into the ranch and saying that too, which was so funny. That's what I think (laughs) She's like, okay. I mean, I am half Italian, so I'm like, this is yeah, funny. me too. So I um, go. Bailey, he forgot her name and called her Bailey on the after the Bailey. final rose. So he just flat out kissed her to make up for it, like right on the limo. <laughs> I'm like, this <laughs> is a recurring theme. Back. Yeah, that was so funny. I know. I, I love like, that. Oh my well, gosh! I also felt like she didn't know how to react because, like, he was like, um, I feel really bad about that, and then there was a pause, and then she was like. Oh, you do? And he was like, yeah. And then he leaned in. I was like, oh, okay. I was, like, <laughs> I was surprised he did that. I was oh, like, I was like, okay. Okay, Zach. Yeah. Let's go. You go. <laughs> like, um, Mercedes with the pig. I can't like. Oh, with Henry the pig. And I just laughed because they put um Henry on the Instagram page. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> did the Instagram get hacked? Or did we want to just remind you? Or did the social team just want to remind you how much of a pig deal this is? And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I love the pun. Um, yeah, yeah. Christina Mandrell, who's the only person with the full name, brought the, the party name. bus of everybody, 
with you, do you think oh. she's the first person who's ever had their full name i don't know if anybody else has had their full name i think so and the main reason was because like they showed on the intro package yeah. and like my mom remembered of this like band. I got it too. this yeah. the mandrells were like a singing group so she is the granddaughter of one of them uh, yeah so that's why i think they just wanted to put her name so it's like <laughs> attributed to that um so yeah i mean i think that was that's like the only person that i feel like has ever had her full name, name. yeah as like part of her intro package like yeah yeah I was like okay <laughs> yeah funny. funny story and i don't know why i just thought of this now my friend lauren was telling me she's like there were no laurens this season which is shocking that's very yeah very like, shocking because there's always a lauren and she's it's usually like, more than no one. laurens this year i know and there's usually more than one so it's like laurens ashley's yeah uh, usually like laurens ashley's, ashley's and then you know those are the two most common but then there's yeah. another one yeah oh my gosh um <laughs> who else brianna so she had gotten america's first impression rose and i <laughs> forgot that it was america's first impression rose and not yeah. his first impression rose until like when i was watching the second episode tonight mm -hmm. um so she was the one that had taken the the selfie at the after yeah. the final rose oh gosh my headphones yeah um and yeah she so was that wearing was, rose dress oh yeah she was wearing the rose dress i know which like i again because of the second episode was like re-reminded about this yeah that was it I had for the limo entrances. Did you have any other ones? I have a few more. I actually, um, I wrote this. It wasn't really like, like, I guess she didn't do anything that like memorable or that special, mm -hmm. but I just thought she was so like sweet. It was Jess. She was the first one that was out of the limo and yeah. she was so nervous, but I thought she was so yeah. like, like, sweet because you could yeah. just tell how genuine she was. Um, and then um, I thought it was really cute with Victoria when like the girl from Vienna, where she was like, oh, let's mm -hmm. do like four kisses instead of two um yeah and, yeah and he i don't think i don't think um zach knew how to react he was like okay like it's a lot but like i think it's cool um uh, so that was really funny and then we'll get to the, we'll get to madison in a little bit but um with madison i thought it was so funny um where she's i guess she's from north dakota and she's like they say oofta so when she's like oofta um he's mighty fine i guess that's what she said that was so funny um what else um I'm, that's gonna be my new phrase yeah i know me too oofta. me too um i thought it was really funny with katie when she had said that she was from austin as well and then she mm -hmm. like looked and then she was like oh uh, it, it makes it, everything is bigger in texas and he was like oh okay like when she said that joke i was like oh my that. gosh i was I like wow. about that. i was like i didn't even like that was so interesting to me but i thought it was really clever and that was really funny um and then Catherine, who's the doctor who's the dermatologist where she was like um i was wondering if you want to spf me and she's like sunscreen silly and then she they sprayed the sunscreen <laughs> Oh, that was so like crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny. Um, I thought Vanessa was really funny with the Mardi Gras entrance where she was mm -hmm. like beads and everything. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, oh my gosh. Um uh I, I think it's uh I don't know how to put it's isn't it is it Lika? Lika? Um, I think it was Lika. Lika? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Um, when she licked his ear and said that it was hers now, and I didn't oh, even know yeah. how, how that react that was so weird. I don't know. I don't even think Zach knew how to react. He was like, okay. Like, I know. And I was like, oh my gosh, that was so it, weird. It's not like, I feel like other guys that have been bachelors before would have reacted differently. It's just that is just not, no. <laughs> That's not really That's him. It's just not him. <laughs> no, I know. Totally. Um, and then the last one I had was I got to give her props because it was a very clever joke and a cl cl very clever, like, pickup line but i just thought it was like really i did not expect it was holland when she had oh said my God. <laughs> where I, I, oh, you were in the wrong Ho holland I, yeah we're, you were in the wrong holland because he was like i know you went on a date in holland last year and i know why it didn't work out was because you were in the wrong holland and i was like you know what i gotta give it to you girl that was very very clever i was like i was not expecting it though and i don't think i could have stopped laughing when i heard of it because it was like <laughs> wow oh my God. I was like, holland weird. Did not make it through night one. Um, but that was... No, very, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, but it, it was definitely memorable. I, it was really funny. Um, yeah, I think that's it. But yeah, Holland was very funny. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so oh I, don't, gosh. I don't know. One more interesting. There was nothing okay. that was like crazy, crazy. Mm -hmm. Which I'm... That's kind of... It's I'm fine. Like, yeah, I'm fine with I'm that. I'm fine with that. Um, the next observation we had he kissed so many of the women on the first night yes that I has to be actually, a record 
Yeah, I think it was. I heard other podcasts talking about. It. I think there's some bachelor thing called like Bachelor Data or something like Instagram. Oh right? yeah, Bachelor Data. Yeah. Bachelor data. I, I and I think that they said that it's it was seven kisses and it's a record for the most on any opening night of any lead. I believe it. So I, I don't not surprised about that. You know who the runner up is? I'm gonna go on Instagram right now and check this. Okay, yeah, I'm interested to see. I want to know who the runner up is. I do too. I'm not really sure, and if it's six or any less than that, but. <laughs> Oh, I think they're, hold on. I think Bash Babe is more active on Twitter, if, if I'm remembering correctly. Because mm, uh, I feel, because you know, there's always going to be people that like mm-hmm. impersonate them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't find them now. Okay, I'm going to figure it out. Oh, I'll keep looking. <laughs> anyway, so um, you had some of the, there were some of the interesting conversations that, uh-huh. um, yeah, while you're doing that, yeah. you can do the interesting, I'll, I'll talk about the interesting yeah. conversations. I thought it was funny. Um, I did, I didn't talk about this before, like when we were talking before, but I thought it was really funny when like, when he was doing yeah. the first toast and he was like, the only three things or the most three things I'm interested in are family, football, and frozen pizza. I thought that was a oh, really yeah. funny line that he said. I was like, you know what? Oh, yeah. I was like, that's really funny. Well, did you hear the thing that there's like a theory that there was a joke that there was a theory that he's an AI, like he's oh, AI yeah. and he's not real. And he actually commented on the post and he was like, can confirm. Cause they were like, he just said, I was like, I like, you know, like what he just said with the frozen pizza or whatever. And they're like, it's just like, he, <laughs> he's like so perfect that that's why he's like, oh, yeah. this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Exactly. And then we were talking about how um, they were using the line a lot, the girls saying, calling mm-hmm. himself the snack. And it seems like that's going to be a, a, a line or catchphrase that they're going to be saying um, throughout the season. I don't think night one was the last time we heard of Zach the snack, which, okay. <laughs> like I, Okay. I also have the data now. It's back okay. at Bachelor data. Okay. Uh, a kiss analysis, night one kiss count, a kiss analysis on Bachelor premieres. So Zach was seven. Clayton was five. Wow. That checks out. That makes sense. Yeah. Matt was two. Peter was three. Colton was three. And Ari was two. Oh, okay. I don't think that surprises me. Yeah. Oh, did the caption. It looks like we have a new kissing bandit in town. <laughs> Who was, the kiss? was that Ari? Oh, yeah. I guess it could be. I think it was Ari. Yeah, it sounds Ari. like Ari. That's really it's funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God, somebody. Okay, I'm not going to read this comment. Anyway. Um, that was really interesting. Gonna... Yeah. Thank you, slippery slope. Um, so, but yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah, you had, yeah, I think you had more conversations besides those two. So I know, besides those two, I know. And then um, I thought, um, so they were talking about how Catherine got the first conversation with him. I thought it went very well. I think mm-hmm. that she is like a strong front runner for me, at least. It seems like they have a really good connection. Yeah. Um, I put down, I know we talked about this before we started recording and I've heard a lot of other podcasts say this, where Zach is not, I guess, what you could say like the personality type of what a reality TV lead or star would be Mm -hmm. very calm and very even keel, but I actually like that. And I I think he's very genuine. I put that, I put that, he seems very genuine and I really like him. I think he's Mm -hmm. a a genuine, such a nice guy from what I can get from it um and then speaking of the lot of kisses i i said that katie got the first kiss and again mm-hmm. that makes sense um, well, technically so, bailey did technically bailey technically and, uh, bailey technically bailey but and katie the after, and the yeah yeah katie yeah, and yeah. The, after the limo entrances got the first yeah. kiss um and then christine oh this was so funny when christina Monroe brought him on the party bus and then they were doing like she made that little like I guess guessing game or, or like that mm-hmm. competitive game, and she like draw out drew out the things. Oh they only showed two of them, but they both disagreed on both of them, which was really funny. With mountains or beats and dinosaur or dragons, which I, yeah. I, what would you say for both of those? Would you have do you have an answer for both? Mountains or beach? I, I mean, I feel like beach, but like I also like the mountains. I do too. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't currently ski or snowboard. <laughs> been actively trying to learn i want to learn snowboarding sorry for another day yes <laughs> but uh i just like i would be fine with both but i i like the beach and I, what was it monsters or dragons what was it was uh, it uh dragons or dinosaurs oh dragons or dinosaurs i guess dinosaurs but mm. like i don't it like the, there's a lot of contextual questions that need to be they get very like, true yeah i'm like i mean i like the jurassic world movies like Mm -hmm. which i actually have never really watched the full jurassic park like as a Mm -hmm. as an adult that i would like understand what was happening like i think i watched parts of it as a kid but anyway Mm -hmm. so i'm like i guess i guess that's probably why i'm leaning towards Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I probably say like I like both beach and mountains, but I, I probably say mountains yeah. edges out a little bit, and that's a hard one. Yeah. I probably just say dinosaurs because they actually existed, but I think kind of how dragons are also portrayed, like oh they breathe fire and they do all that kind of stuff, and they like yeah. I know dinosaurs fly and stuff like that. Um, but like yeah, I probably lean towards dinosaurs a little bit, but I like both too. I think both are cool. Um, but I thought that was so funny in that conversation. Yeah how they both disagreed and then they like they, they went like, oh, okay they go to the kiss but i love how christina was like, so offended by that like she like they disagreed she's like why come on you gotta explain it was so funny to me i was like well, they're off to a great start <laughs> yeah i'm like well off to a great start and then well then they all go on the pot everybody else yeah. goes on the party bus and it was really funny and i was just like oh my gosh this is i mean yeah. i don't know i guess part of it's like oh my gosh they like totally crashed her moment but i was like whatever it's it fine you're all it's just fine. It. yeah i don't think she wasn't too bothered it was it it happened at the right time that it did they had their moment already so it, it did like, okay yeah um let me um what else yeah. do you have any because I, um, I have a few more I think, yeah, the only other, I didn't really have any other conversations that I was, I think it was just like the first impression where it was, was the other thing. You wanted to go through the other nickname that he had. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> um, uh, Let me see. I can probably actually go through yeah. a few more things pretty quickly. Um, it, The, the, what was it? The, um, I actually, this is interesting. I saw these people talk about mm -hmm. this. He had, he talked with Charity sometime during the night. I really yeah. like Charity. I think she seems really genuine and like, just yeah, really sweet. I, agree. I really like her. Mm -hmm. um and um, i think zach sees that as well so i really like that conversation um i had said uh like you had said greer got the first impression rose and right before mm -hmm. that before she did i thought it was a good choice it, like I, I i guess it was somewhat surprising to me but it didn't really shock mm -hmm. me either, i guess you could say um it, i guess she had talked about how she's from houston lives in new york now and mm -hmm. then moved back to austin where zach lives and i guess they connected over that and she seems really sweet. I think that, I, I guess I think yeah. they have a connection as well. Yeah. Um, that was really interesting uh, how that conversation went. And um, again, I don't think the first impression was really shocked me. Um, I thought the oh my gosh with when Cat was um, doing that meatball eating contest with Zach. Oh my gosh, that was. <sighs> I don't even know how to explain that because I literally like had the mouth full of meatballs and she was like I got I'm eating more than you and stuff like that I was like well she needs to go connect with meatball now she does need to connect with meatball I'm sure they'd bond yeah. really well over that that'd be I, great I'm surprised I haven't seen any memes about it yet me neither or like I totally that well totally, maybe now because maybe he, now yeah he got let go on week two yes um yeah. totally I think that would go I, I think that would be great like I think they would yeah. fit really well together I think <laughs> um what else do i have i think i have i have a few more things that are later in the episode but yes now circling back to what we talked about with um zach's second nickname besides zach snack is um apparently i guess in his youth and still now he's still a musician and like he's like and he makes music and i guess he goes under the stage name for zachy and i guess that's what he's known as and I'm not sure if I want to like call him that now or if I just don't want to I want to let it be but it's like that thing does not I, I, won't, I won't forget it for sure and I just think oh, that no. so it's very very creative I guess <laughs> I know it's like well I mean hey it's working for him it's working for him yeah I, I I'm actually I'm really, really surprised if like one of the girls like brings that up like say like mm -hmm. on some of it's like oh it's for Zach I, I, I'd be really good to see if that actually happens because they I don't even know if they know but um that's really funny and they love how they like showed the pictures of mm -hmm. him as like a teenager like when he was playing mm -hmm. in the band and stuff like that yeah he really got into it like that was really fun that was pretty funny oh my gosh i know it's like it's like we need more of this content for we totally do we need to see more of rizaki oh <laughs> why does it sound uh, like like a it definitely sounds like a stage name, but it also sounds like a character, like a, like a cartoon character to me. I don't know why it sounds like some kind of like thing. I don't know. It sounds like something else that we're familiar with that I'm not remembering now, but. Mm -hmm. um, That's all I have for the conversations, at least before all the craziness. Well, Madison, yeah. So Madison. I said the Madison thing's going to get crazy. So it did. Well, so I think like we were saying, like he kissed all these women. And I think that's what happens is it start. And this carried over into like the second mm -hmm. episode was. I just felt like all these women were like, oh my God, he kissed her and he kissed her and he kissed her. And it just created mm -hmm. this whole big thing where they're like, oh, well, if he's kissing all these women, like then I want him to kiss me yeah. too. And I think that's what happened with Madison. And like, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I'd like to say 
if I were there, I wouldn't be like, oh my God, I need a kiss on the first night. Like, I'd like to say that. And I probably would be okay with that. But if this was happening around me, like you, you're going to be like, I want to be one of those people. Yeah. It's the super nature. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not faulting her for it, but I think what happened was like, then they were bonding and they were talking and whatever. And then they did the gritty dance and whatever. Oh, geez. And then they, um, he like, she tried to like force the kiss on him a little bit yeah and it just went not well yes and i think and, and i think part of it's just like how do i say this i think part of it's just like it not going well and it just not being everything you you wanted are mm-hmm. two separate things and i think that what happened was she just like kind of freaked herself out because she it wasn't everything she expected it was going to be mm-hmm. and so she freaked out and then she was like walking away and then she crying and the whole yeah. thing and then he just like he pulled her to the side and then like let her go and i was like well i yes. mean i mean look if you know at that point it's not clicking then just send her home and i think that's where it's like he is not waiting like she, she didn't even make it, it to the it. first yeah. rose ceremony and it wasn't it wasn't like that she was like out of line or anything mm-hmm. like that's the only other times you've seen guys typically it's been guys yeah sometimes women leave before the rose ceremony even happens on the first night and it was like exactly. He's just like, yeah, you're definitely, no. Yes. <laughs> I was like, I like, mean, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying, I mean, I don't, I don't want to like totally make fun of Madison, but that whole thing was just like, it's just like, oh man. Oh my gosh. And I swear, oh. like when they, I don't even know the words to describe it. When they did dance across mm-hmm. the hallway, that was so awkward because you knew he was not wanting to be a part of any of that. He was just like, okay, I guess I was like, okay. It was just so awkward to watch. It was like, I don't even, it was so uncomfortable. But, um, and the thing was, is that like we talked about this before we started recording is that he really, I don't think he's going to put up with any drama if it's brought to his attention, which I really like. Cause I want that to be, I obviously drama is going to happen, but if it's a drama, like yeah. drama and like, just like, obviously, you know, it can be provoked and, and, and like, I guess manipulated by producers and all that kind of stuff. If that, if that drama is going to be brought to Zach's attention, he's going to be like, nope, I'm not putting up with it. I'm just going to get eliminate this right now. And I and I think he has more say in that. And I'm really happy mm-hmm. about that. I would rather it be more yeah. about relationships than that. Because we were talking about, I feel like in, in past seasons, there's a very good chance that I think Madison would have stayed through the first night. But I'm really glad that- Oh, yeah. That well, Zach kind of did send her home. Um, and I thought it was really interesting. I don't know if you noticed this, but I heard a lot of the podcasts talking about this too. And I know we'll get to this topic in a minute, but- mm-hmm. um, it was it was interesting how like she they did this like really long like they sit on this one shot while she was just walking while Zach was just watching her and then like they turned around and oh, she yeah. was crying and then when she was crying it was dark and then they went back to her and they're crying again and it was morning so it was like did they, how long did they stand there filming her to, to just say oh okay, just stand here for three hours it just, could have like, been uh, literally as the sun was rising it could have been yeah it could have been like dark and then sun rising but i oh. thought it was so funny how it made it seem like she was just standing there crying for a long time i was like oh my gosh that was crazy. yeah i think it's just oh i think part of it was like i think and I, i'm not i don't like blame her or whatever but i think probably what did her in was because she forced the kiss like maybe yes. he, maybe she would have made it to the second like the second week and then you know it just would have been more natural but i think that was just kind of like what did then i don't know yeah. i don't know I, I don't i'm not i think it was but, a good decision yeah i'm not like blaming her yeah. but I think it was the best decision yeah but yeah no i agree um so yeah the only other thing that i had was like which was kind of going off of your point it was so bright after the road ceremony and all of them yeah. were leaving i was like what time is it like 6 a.m I just... they i've heard like a lot of the hosts oh. and some of the leads say like those first days are like 18 to 20 hour filming that day which is crazy so i wouldn't be surprised if it was seven eight in the morning that was the brightest i've ever seen it me too it's been like sometimes like oh it's just like really dark and or it's like starting to be like that is the lightest i've ever seen it so that literally yeah. went all night mm-hmm. um i don't know so I can't imagine how tired yes. everybody is well that's the thing like that's why they're gonna act crazy like so i'm not gonna sit here and be like of course madison was probably overtired of course she's gonna be emotional like and, and then they, they they're a little alcohol. and then they're a little liquored up like you said yeah so. like on top of it even if they put in those limits because of prior incidences like it's mm-hmm. still enough that that with tiredness and nerves mm-hmm. is just gonna get to you like it would yeah. get to me 
yeah oh, so anyway that's, that's um, all yeah so that was the first that was the premiere um for the second episode i think we're gonna start off with the lotto date mm-hmm. um is it bad i don't know who she is she, i did it at first I, i've heard i've heard the name but i didn't i don't know who she's yeah i don't i don't really know that much i know she sings that song that they kept that song, yeah, that was, yeah yeah that was it i, know I mean it was like it was pretty good the date i don't know i was like i was kind of zoning out a little bit during the date at first but like victoria fuller was there and tajwan was there and um who was the other one Courtney. Courtney, that's right yes so they were all there and they were just like they didn't really kind of, do much though which i thought they would have done more I, like, okay. I i mean obviously it was more than what they uh, aired uh, i think the whole tajwan thing just like took over the whole yeah. situation and look good for you tajwan because i think that's what like zach was like she did bring that the bad bitch energy yeah. on it. but at the same token what i did not appreciate was she was so rude to them like yeah. there's one thing coming in but i felt like she was just like very rude of like you you girls didn't even like bring it out there. I, like, yeah what are you doing like i don't i can't believe she did that me too and it's just really like it's someone she's someone that pretty much bachelor nation has like liked and i'm just mm. like you just really that was just messy <laughs> Yeah, that he, changed my yeah. opinion on wanting her to stay. Like, if she just would have came in and been like, that's been, different. Like, I'm not crazy about it, but I'm like, okay. But like, yeah. if she would have been fine. But then once she acted like that, I'm like, no. I was like, no. she's. And they like, I, I didn't even like, I lost track for a second. I was like, wait a second, did he talk to her? Because then all of a sudden he was telling them, like, oh, she's not staying. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, good for him because if yeah. he stay, if she, if he had her stay after the way she walked in, I was. I would have been like really shocked. I'm glad he just was like, no, she's not staying. That's it. Bye. Again, case in point, he just is not putting up with that. So no, and, and I think the biggest thing is that it's like, you know what? It is week one. I think if he if he's dealing with drama in like weeks three, four, equip like airing wise, you know, obviously mm-hmm. things are different time wise and when they actually film it. Like at that point in the game, like week three, four, if you're dealing with the drama, that's a little bit of a different situation. But it's like you know and it's like the thing that he brings up later with brianna he's like i feel like all of these conversations are like serious and stuff like wait we just want it to be like fun like it's supposed to be fun like you're you're starting to date people it is supposed to be fun it is not supposed to be difficult at the beginning stage Mm -hmm. so like i think that's also where he's coming from of like i don't want to deal with this um and i'll get into that more when i talk about the thing with brianna because i have some Mm -hmm. opinions on that but but yeah the group date i mean generally was fine fine. they didn't really do much again like i I put that they they did like that part where they like, I thought some of the parts were awkward just because they were like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be this bad bitch. And, like, they kept, like, repeating on it, and it just seemed like it really, like, they kept, they just kept saying the same thing. I'm like, okay, yeah. yes, I understand. I know what you're, like, what the point is of the day. But, um, but overall, it was okay. There were some awkward moments. Mm-hmm. Overall, it was fine. They just, like, that, where they had the dance, and then, of course, Kat did the thing where she did the split because she's a dancer, so it was like, that mm-hmm. made it just, oh. she was going to go off. And then they, like, did That's that. That's my move. It's oh, I know. Thing. Um, And then, um, <laughs> I think uh, who was it? I think it was Kylie because she's the NBA dancer, so she mm-hmm. like the moves like as well uh, when they were doing yeah. the dance thing, and then they were like walking the runway um, to like I guess I guess show how they could I guess be confident and everything. Yeah. And then I I don't know who it was, but somebody choked him with like a ribbon. I don't know what girl that was. She like did oh. like she like oh, I, I don't remember. who it was. I didn't really pay attention too much, but I know somebody did. I was like, oh okay. Um, I know yeah. one of them took the tequila shot. The other oh, thing. very true. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's all. Um, I <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. And then it was after that. Then we go to Christina's one-on-one date. So they take mm-hmm. a helicopter to go to his family's house for his mom's birthday for like barbecue. Um, I mean, it all seemed to go really well. Like his mom took out his baby photo album, and then she has a daughter. Yeah. Um, that you know, like so. Then of course it plants a seed of like, oh well, you know, like yeah, I knew that was so planned. <laughs> I, I need to talk to him, and then um well they probably just told the they're probably um, saying hey, like, oh pictures. pull out the baby picture yeah um and and then they had their conversation i i was actually I, very convinced he was not gonna keep her that's what my mom thought like i i think he how do i say this he handled it well in the sense that he's clearly taking it seriously but it was just very dramatized it really was yeah but he does give her the rose um, but at least he's being very honest of like, this is yeah. a major thing because yeah. I, I like reiterated to my mom while we were sitting there. I'm like, keep in mind, 
he saw what happened with Gabby and Nate. Like yeah. he wasn't really as much totally. part of Gabby's love story, but he was still there. Like yeah. he knows this he is knows. very real yeah. for him, in my opinion. So I think, and I, I think Christina is. A, she seems really nice, mm -hmm. and I think she seems just like yeah. obviously. I'm glad she wasn't like, oh, if he doesn't like accept this or like whatever, like then he's like horrible. Whatever. I'm glad that she like also knew like yeah. up front, if you are just not ready for this or if you're not like, I did something you just don't feel like is the right timing right now. I totally understand. Yeah. I'm glad she didn't try to guilt him into like giving her the rose, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not really sure because I, I think we start to maybe see some drama with her in the next few episodes, which again, I'm, I, I'm not really surprised with. Mm -hmm. I just kind of got that energy off of her. But, and I also don't feel like I see her being somebody that makes it all the way. Yeah. I don't see that with her. I think yeah. at some point he's going to be kind of realize whether it's their connection or her daughter, like just uh, him realizing that he's just not ready to be a parent, like yeah. specific of right after the show. And again, that's another thing. It's like, you could be like, you, you could want to start a family and want to have kids and everything like that. But if you have that, like, if you make that commitment with somebody on the show, you start being a parent mm -hmm. like, or start involving that person in yeah. your life right after the show or even before the show's done sometimes, like on the hometowns, like with, uh, yeah. um, I forgot who it was. Um, it was Ben and somebody. Amanda uh, Stanton. Yeah. Yes. Amanda. Amanda, Amanda. Yeah. Amanda. Yeah. I remember that. Um, so it, it could be that yeah. kind of situation. So yeah, I think she's nice. I'm. I think the Santa situation, like you said, yeah. it was hands down overly dramatized. But I think they handled both handled it well. Oh yeah. But in the yeah. end, I don't see. I think she'll probably be on for a few more weeks. And then I don't think she'll be on the show that much longer. But that's my yeah, opinion. same. I think uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I'll get back to that when we get to the thing with Brianna. So like, yeah, the other group date was. Good. I don't know what. I guess I don't know what they did. They didn't mention. They didn't do anything else. I they just they had did. like a cocktail hour, which was like generally fine. I mean, the group seemed to generally get along well, but some of them were like freaking out a bit. But I, I don't know. There was nobody like, who, who did he give the? Oh, uh, he gave it to Je Jess. Yes, that's right. Which I also yeah. think I, I see her being a front runner to me too. So that's yeah, it. at this rate, yeah, I definitely agree. Um, so I think no, I mean, I think that was fine. And then it was right. like then they get to the rose ceremony. You can tell they're all feeling the competitiveness because he does the whole thing with the toast and he's just like, oh, well, like, and then, you you know, Christina meeting my family and she's like, I didn't tell them that. And then I was like, well, he's allowed to say what he wants to say. He's he can say whatever he wants. Like, he can say whatever he wants. Yeah. And, um, you know, but then I then they start to numb the thing with Brianna and mm. Christina. And listen, they aired that clip of what was discussed and it wasn't, it wasn't great. It wasn't yeah, great. It was I not, think yeah. that, how do I say this? I think it's kind of a bold move for Christina to say something like that mm -hmm. as a joke to somebody you literally just met. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, that's something I'd say to my friend, like, I hate you. Like, I'm kidding. You know, yeah, yeah. You, don't, you don't say that to somebody you just met because it's like, you could mean that as a joke, but a lot of people don't know how to take that as a joke. Mm -hmm. And it just, I didn't, her apology wasn't great in my book because yeah. I think she was like acting like she didn't remember. And again, it's like maybe she was drinking and she doesn't like she genuinely doesn't remember. But it just I don't want to like dump on Christina, but she just seems and I'm not saying she's there for the wrong reasons. I'm just saying that she seems to be very much trying to control the image of how she's portrayed. Mm -hmm. I feel like it could be for both of them. I don't know. Like I feel like I don't know. I just the impression I got was that with Chris with um Brianna. Brianna that she kind of was trying to be like, oh, I have to portray myself in a certain way too. Especially when she was talking to Zach. That's mm -hmm. why I thought it was a little bit a little bit manipulated or manip manipulative to me because she was like, Oh, like, oh, there's something going on. Um, but do you want to know? And he was like, Oh, if you feel like and this is another reason was Zach's not gonna accept. He was like, No, he's like, do not tell me. He's like, I am not a part of this. Like again, the case in point with him not being involved with the drama, he's just not having it. Um, but I, but, but then she still told him, not not the name, not that was Christina, but she still said, oh, he was like, oh my gosh, I hate. Like she said, oh my gosh, I hate you. Thing, and even when he said he didn't want to know, yeah, he's like, if it's resolved, um, then, then you don't know, know about me. it. And then and, yeah. then I don't know about it. and then she still told him. So I was like, that part I thought was a little like not great for her, but that was me. No, 
yeah, I mean, he still did give her the rose at the end of the day. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I think she's really only going to stick around maybe like another week. Um, yeah, I honestly yeah. think that that was he kind of was just maybe by the producers like swayed of like, just keep her one more week and give her time. And I, I don't think there's anything wrong with Brianna. And I think Brianna and Christina yeah. left it a little bit better. The previews definitely seem to be their issue coming to the surface. I think yeah. the one thing that, um, again, like I feel like Zach's perfectly entitled to be like, he doesn't want to get into this drama, especially when it's like <laughs> literally like week one. Yeah. Or two, whatever. And um I think the biggest thing though that I just I hope that if things come up later on in the season, I think the biggest issue that and, and this is I think why it's always hard with this format is just because like the girls like if they're dealing with an issue, like if you were dating somebody and you were dealing with something, you'd want to talk to this yes. person that you're dating yes. about yeah. what you're going through. Yeah, but yeah. it's hard because it's like in this situation, it's like about another girl who's dating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's weird, so, I know. It's like a weird thing because it's like, how much do you have to prioritize? Like, well, I need to be here to support Brianna because she's dealing with something versus it's like, weird. yeah, it's about somebody else I'm dating. Yeah, that's so totally- there's a fine line with that. And it was so weird. No, I totally agree. Yeah. And it was so weird where like Brianna was talking about how, oh my God, like, you know what's interesting? I'm surprised enough, and I've heard a lot of other people like doing recaps of the premiere mm-hmm. say the same thing. Um, that I think that America's Rose really messed up her confidence because it wasn't from him. Um, so it was like, oh, America picked me, but he really didn't like. It really wasn't from him. So I think since she oh, didn't, yeah. was, like, like up front, like it was like, oh my gosh, does she really like me? Everything like that. So I'm really, sur- I'm, in, I'm, I'm curious to see if they'll keep that like going forward, the America's Rose, and then also, mm. um, I wonder if that was like kind of the vibe she was giving off. Is the reason why Zach was like, "Oh, I don't feel like you're opening up, opening up, opening up oh, your yeah. up." I was interested to see why he thought that, but yeah, he like flat out was like, "I feel like you have a lot of like, oh no, my yeah, gosh, you're like so no. matter now." I know. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, yeah, he's not holding back. I he's mean, not. not holding back, and that's good. That's good. I'm glad. I told my mom, I was like, yeah. "This is kind of boring television," but like, good for him. So good for him, because again, like we talked about, I feel like most leads, especially bachelors, like if somebody came to somebody. It was like, hey, something happened. Um, like, can I tell you? They'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Just tell me everything. But with Zach, he's like, if it's been resolved, don't tell me. Like, I'm glad that he's just like not, he's not putting up with not it. Not putting up with it. Yeah, I, yeah. But good for him, dude. I'm really happy. <laughs> oh, no, I know. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I yeah. think that's really it. Oh, uh, yeah. All I had was just go, I have one more thing. I, I guess it wasn't much, but it was that Gabby, they kind of focused in on Gabby on the first. Yeah um thing with with the date but then they ended up having a conversation at the cocktail hour and then it resolved so it was fine but mm-hmm. it just kind of zoomed in on her or kind of did that and was like oh i'm not comfortable yeah. not putting it. and then it was fine but then it turned out being cool so yeah there was one more thing and it was just with during the group day i i noticed that they were kind of like focusing on gabby i don't know why i think it was just because they she was talking about how, oh, it was because I think it was the thing where it was either she he was the only one that didn't talk to him or the only one, yeah, it was the only one that didn't talk mm-hmm. to him. I thought it was maybe yeah. Kiss, but she, I, I'm not really sure. I think it was both. She didn't talk to him or kiss him. And so she mm-hmm. was kind of getting in her head about that. Then they talked and then it seemed to be okay. And they kind of like, he gave her more confidence and then she got the rose and then that was fine. Um, yeah. And so that kind of, I thought I should mention that just because they kind of focused on her during the group date. But mm-hmm. again, I just thought it was interesting that the group date, they, they never, they never, they never really mentioned anything that they did anything else during that day. So I don't know if it was just that, just, they just, just, they did just the cocktail party mm-hmm. at the end, or they did something during the day and they just, they just didn't show it. Cause I know they've done that in the past, but I didn't, they didn't give any, oh, yeah. they did anything else. So I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I was just like, it's just so much to do. At the beginning. I know. So who um after the rose who went home? Cat went so, home. Cat, Kimberly, and Victoria J. Okay. And that's kind of like I have to go back up to my Kimberly list. was the one like blonde in the Wait, Victoria J left? Victoria J, yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, she was one of the people that I had the top person. I, mm-hmm. I, so I had to that. I had to kind of reorganize mine too. So I was like, oh man. Like, yeah. Breakthrough, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I so that was it. I don't know. After the two weeks, I think. I would have said Christina, but like there's just too much drama that's not going to last. Um, yeah. I definitely still think Greer. Yeah, um, yeah, I still think Greer will. Uh, 
I don't know. Brianna definitely not now is not going to go further. There are too much further. I don't think. Um, I don't know. Katie, I think so. I mean, again, I was biased because I'm rooting for her. She was a yeah. skater. Um, Allie and Anastasia or Anastasia. I haven't seen them. I, I did have Anastasia originally in my week one one, but then I kind of took yeah. her out because I don't think I see much with her. At least yeah. that's me. Like, I think she seems nice, but they don't seem to be really showing her much. So I don't feel. Yeah. Um, and then, um, that was the other one. Oh, I think Mercedes with, with the big, big Henry. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was like, we'll see. I don't know. That was, that's all I really have so far. Cause I'm like, I don't know. I think by like in a week or two, I'm going to start to connect more with the, like, Yeah, I know. Me too. I was first going to be like, no, I know. At first, I was going to be like, oh, should I like, try to pick a top four now? But I'm like, that's way too hard. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I even could. Um, for me, I said um, Ariel, Bailey, Brooklyn Jess, Katie Kimberly, Mercedes Greer. That's mm-hmm. like my top. And then the ones yeah. to watch I had were Gabby and Charity. I think yeah. they're something with that because again, they kind of focused on Gabby a little bit during the group, group yeah. game. I thought maybe they'll do something a little bit more. And then Charity, I feel like they focused in, focused in on her a lot and I really like her. Yeah. So I think her and Gabby, Ch- Charity and Gabby, I think yeah. are two definitely people to watch. Um, but the yeah. people I had mentioned, I definitely think will go far. Um, I don't know. I definitely, I see more people like Bailey, Brooklyn, Jess, Kimberly, and Greer. Like those people I see more as like his type of person, like personality wise. Yeah. Um, so that's what I think, but that's me. Um, I originally had Kylie, but the NBA dancer, but I don't know. I don't, they haven't really shown her much. So I don't know if maybe she'll get like no. a date, but I originally had her, but then I took her out of my top. Um, but yeah, those are the ones I have, but I, the ones I had mentioned, I think those ones, I think that have more, they seem to go well together. That's me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I agree. And I think, um, that was the other thing. Oh, random thing. Gabby looks like Charlie D'Amelio. Oh, she totally does. She totally does. I I, I was like, wait, I need to say this before. I keep, I'm like, like, even my mom was like, she looks like that girl. I'm like, yes, she looks like Charlie D'Amelio. Um, I was like, it's crazy. She kind of looks like her. So, um, uh, I don't know. We'll it's funny how much stuff I've changed though, because I originally had Anastasia and ba- and Brittany in my top after week one, but then I took them out after this week because it's like, I don't know. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I just feel like I haven't really like connected with so many people yet. Indeed. I'm actually like... curious though, just mm-hmm. because in the preview of like the season, and I don't know if you watch um Bachelor Fan Take, but I, I he's one mm-hmm. of like the best. Like he's like a really big YouTuber, and he's like a guy who literally breaks down every single every single analytical like detail of every episode every every preview every trailer everything like that and he's become really popular over the last few last few seasons but mm-hmm. literally he'll do like a live stream after the monday night episode and then he does like two recaps um, or do, or do he will do a recap of the episode and then a preview of the following episode of the okay. next week um and he literally he's like a no spoiler channel but he gets like spoilers or he does sleuthing outside just based on how smart and detailed he is with that. And yeah. I'm actually interested because he had talked about how um, with Greer, he talked about how they showed something like, I don't know. It, it definitely seems like it's when they've already started traveling because they're like in a hotel, mm-hmm. but it seems like there was some kind of conversation that they had that was difficult and then she walks oh, yeah. away and it looks like she's crying. And then Zach is like walk, watching her walk away. And he kind of hinted that there might be something to where he's like sending her home as she sends herself home, something like that. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I um, think that's possible too. I think that's possible with her. I just noticed that from his channel because he was talking about that. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, that's crazy. Um, so I could definitely see that. Um, it seems like they the producers do some kind of fake out with the proposal. Um, of course, like they do every season. He pointed that out as well because he was like, oh, well where he has the ring and he's talking about like getting engaged and they have like the sound bite of him talking mm-hmm. about getting engaged and then he's walking with the ring in his hand mm-hmm. it's like in one of the european countries where and where they're rumored to have done the finale or the final week is in thailand so it's like yeah they're kind of tricking you to believe that it happened at that time but it really didn't so like they i guess the producer set that yeah. up thought that that was interesting um i don't know yeah, it, it's. I think as the season goes on, like you said, I'll be able to connect the dots more, and I'll definitely like narrow down my list and be like, oh, here's the top four, top five, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I definitely do think, and I know a lot of other podcasters like 
they ask each other, oh, do you think, like, how do you think the season ends? Like, not really specifically with who, but like, do you think he's engaged in everything? I do feel like he is engaged. That's my hunch. I really think he's engaged because I feel like the season is not going to be the crazy all out like brawl drama that is like what completely derails the like the Mm -hmm. season with the romance and the relationships. Yeah. I think he's really focusing on that. So yeah, if I had to pick right now, I think he's 100% engaged. That's my guess. Yeah, I think they showed the clip. I didn't listen to Ashley. I podcast the Almost Famous, but I saw um, a clip that she had like posted as a promo with talking to him and she's like, are you happy? And he was like, yes. And I was like, I I believe that. So I'm like, yeah. mm, come on, Zach. We want you to be happy. Come mm-hmm. on, go down in the like the, the third bachelor to be with who they chose. Um yeah. and yeah, I think that's really it. I don't know. Yeah, there wasn't really much. I we were talking about there. There really isn't much that these been kind of like two pretty mm-hmm. standard episodes, to be honest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh goodness. All right. So I will wrap us up. Okay. Um, so thank you so much for listening to today's episode. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube and hit the post notification bell and if you enjoyed it share it with a friend also follow us on instagram at ballrooms and bachelors and our personal instagram accounts which are linked in our instagram bio and appear at the end screen of this episode um again like we had mentioned earlier this will be our last episode for a while now um because we're not planning to do the weekly episodes for zach's season but definitely continue to follow us on social media and we will talk to you soon awesome we'll see you guys soon have a good one Bye. bye